In the grand theater of life, there's a play that's as old as time itself, the intrigue of attraction. This fascinating spectacle, this magnetic pull that draws individuals together, isn't a mere whimsical part of our existence. Rather, it's a vital cog in the wheel of our survival, forging bonds, sparking relationships, and shaping societies. Attraction is a force that operates on multiple levels, biological, psychological, and social. From a biological perspective, it's an instinctive drive, a primal call of nature guiding us towards potential partners. It's in our very genes, a part of the grand scheme of propagation and survival of the species. Then there's the psychological dimension, the complex interplay of our thoughts, desires, and emotions. It's about compatibility, shared interests, personality traits, and the elusive chemistry. This aspect of attraction is as unique as our fingerprints, shaped by our experiences and perceptions. And often it's this psychological pull that turns fleeting attraction into enduring bonds. But humans, as we know, are social animals. We're woven into the fabric of societies, and these societies, too, play a vital role in attraction. Cultural norms, societal standards of beauty, status, and even the media all contribute to who we find attractive and why. Attraction, therefore, isn't a simple linear phenomenon. It's a multifaceted, complex puzzle, one that's been intriguing scientists, philosophers, and poets for centuries. It's a potent force that shapes our lives in profound ways, influencing our decisions, our relationships, and our very sense of self. So why do we experience attraction? Why does the sight of that certain someone make our hearts flutter, our palms sweat, and our minds whirl with a thousand thoughts? And what does this attraction mean for us, for our lives, our relationships, and our societies? Stay tuned as we delve into the mysterious world of attraction, why it happens, and what it means for us. Attraction isn't just about the heart, it's also about the brain, hormones, and genes. It's a complex biological process that begins with a simple glance. Our bodies are always at work, even when our minds are unaware. Let's talk about pheromones first. These are chemical signals that our bodies naturally produce. They're like invisible messages floating in the air and are picked up by others without us even realizing it. Pheromones have been linked to attraction, signaling to potential partners that we may be a good match. Then there's physical appearance. Now, we're not just talking about the stereotypical tall, dark and handsome or the perfect hourglass figure. What we find physically appealing can be influenced by a multitude of factors including health, fertility, and even perceived genetic quality. Our bodies are biologically wired to be attracted to signs of good health and reproductive fitness. It's a primal instinct, a survival mechanism passed down through generations. And let's not forget about genetic compatibility. Ever heard of the saying, opposites attract? Well, it turns out there's some truth to that. Studies have shown that we're often attracted to people with a different genetic makeup than our own. This diversity in genes can lead to healthier offspring with a broader range of immune defenses. But it's not as simple as just smelling good, looking good, or having different genes. The brain is the ultimate matchmaker here. It's the one interpreting these signals, processing the information, and creating the feeling of attraction. Hormones like oxytocin and vasopressin are released, amplifying feelings of warmth and attachment. Dopamine, the pleasure hormone, also plays a role, making us feel good when we're with the person we're attracted to. These hormones create a powerful cocktail that drives us towards potential partners. So, biology plays a crucial role in attraction, but it's not the only factor. Let's uncover the psychological perspective. What if I told you, your childhood experiences influence who you find attractive? Yes, you heard it right. Our early life experiences play a significant role in shaping our preferences, including who we find attractive. Delving deeper into this, psychologists have found that our earliest relationships, particularly with our parents, can significantly impact our future romantic relationships. For instance, if you had a strong bond with your father, you might find yourself attracted to people who share his characteristics, both physically and personality-wise. This phenomenon, known as imprinting, is one of the many ways our childhood experiences influence our attractions but it's not just about our past. Our personalities also play a crucial role. We often hear that opposites attract. But in reality, we are more likely to be drawn to people who are similar to us, who share our values, beliefs, and interests. This is known as the similarity attraction effect. It's not just about having the same favorite color or music genre. 
It's about understanding each other, having similar life goals, and seeing the world through the same lens. And then there's the subconscious mind, the silent puppeteer pulling the strings of our attractions. Our subconscious mind is constantly making judgments and decisions without our conscious awareness. It might be a particular scent that reminds you of a happy memory or the way someone laughs that resonates with you. These subconscious cues can spark a sense of familiarity and comfort, leading to attraction. Moreover, shared experiences also fuel attraction. Ever noticed how people who go through intense or challenging experiences together feel a strong bond? That's because shared experiences, especially the emotionally charged ones, can foster a deep sense of connection and attraction. So it seems our attractions are not just random whims, they are influenced by a myriad of psychological factors. From our childhood experiences and personality traits to our subconscious cues and shared experiences, psychology indeed has a profound impact on attraction. But what about the social factors? We live in a society and it shapes our preferences more than we often realize. Let's delve into this a bit more. Our perception of attractiveness is not just a matter of personal preference or biological wiring. It's also deeply rooted in societal norms and cultural values. The society we grow up in, the culture we're exposed to, they all play a pivotal role in shaping our views of attraction. Take, for example, the concept of beauty. It varies wildly from one culture to another. In some societies, a slim figure is considered attractive, while in others, a fuller figure is preferred. The societal norms of beauty can often influence our subconscious preferences, guiding us towards what is deemed attractive in our culture. Then, there's the role of media. We're constantly bombarded with images of ideal beauty standards through advertisements, movies and social media. These images subtly mold our perception of attractiveness, often without us even realizing it. They create a standard that people often aspire to or seek in others. Peer influence is another significant social factor. The opinions of our friends, family and social circle can greatly impact our preferences. We tend to be attracted to people who are approved of or admired by our peers. It's a form of social validation that plays a crucial role in attraction, but it's not just about physical attractiveness. Society also influences our perception of desirable personality traits. Qualities like kindness, humor or ambition might be valued more in one society than another. The societal values we grow up with can shape our attractions towards certain personality traits. However, it's important to note that while societal factors can shape our preferences, they don't dictate them. Attraction is a complex interplay of multiple factors, including biology, psychology and personal experiences. The societal influences merely add another layer to this intricate tapestry. Society does shape our attractions, but remember, it's a personal journey unique to each individual. Your attractions are your own, shaped by a myriad of factors, both social and personal. And that's what makes it all the more fascinating. The human attraction is a complex interplay of biology, psychology and society. As we've journeyed through this exploration, we've seen that attraction is not a simple one-dimensional phenomenon. It's a rich tapestry woven from threads of biological imperatives, psychological influences and social norms. On a biological level, we're driven by an innate urge to procreate, drawn to those who show signs of good health and strong genes. Psychologically, we gravitate towards those who mirror our own traits, values and experiences, seeking a sense of familiarity and comfort.